guys. Welcome back to another grocery haul. Sorry about the noise. The kids are upstairs. They're playing. Gotta deal with it. And I have five children. I can't shut them up all the time. But I have two grocery hauls for you today. Two. I got a Costco and I got a No Frills. Because, well, Costco is our monthly Costco order and No Frills is our weekly. So this week they got combined. So, don't forget to hit the red button down below, right there. And hit the, the bell next to it to get notified of when I do my next uploads. I'm sorry for not uploading last week. I, like I said in the one description of the video, um, I had extremely sick children and everything and mama's been sick i sound very congested and just so blah. i am like winded because i can't breathe but yes and i'm gonna take you along and we're gonna fix this up today yeah but anyways let's jump into this haul i'm gonna start over here on no frills so, I'm going to have to check the order, but I'm pretty sure I asked for two, not just one. So, she did a fuck up. But I got one 18, a 18 count of eggs. And up over here, I've got a pack of frozen lean ground beef. The uncooked ones. This is the best way for us to get our ground beef, because it's $10 for three pounds Awesome. And then I've got zit. Eight pounds of uncooked ground chicken because they were out of the turkey. So we've got chicken. So I've got ground chicken, two packages to restock our freezer because we are running. We've only got two rolls left and that ain't going to do shit. And up over here because I was out of my shredded cheese for pizzas and whatnot. And just putting shredded cheese on like my Mexican rice casserole and all that sort of jazz. Ooh, a Mexican rice casserole sounds good tonight. I might make it with ground chicken. We'll wait and see. But I got some, the marble shredded cheese, the club size no name brand. This is a net weight of 900 grams. It's the best price, it was like $12 for this, so best bang for your buck, I believe, in my opinion. And we are all out of our margarine, so I got a three kg tub of margarine. I also like to use the containers for cookies. If you don't have cookie containers when you make homemade cookies, these work really well. They do, they do. And then jumping up over here, we've got eight liters of our Batrice 2% milk. Oh, sorry, brain fart. Zoned out. But I got eight liters of the Patrice 2% milk right there because the kids are running low. And also got some Turtles Coffee Mate Coffee Creamer and a Coffee Crisp Coffee Mate Coffee Creamer because, well, gotta love me some Coffee Mate. And because I don't want to run out of coffee anytime soon, I got two of the medium roast ground coffees so that we have one for the basement in storage and one for now so that when we get into this one I will go buy more and then stock up the basement so that we can always have one for now one for later type of deal oh and the kids were out of well butter 
for school lunches. I do not know. This stuff is gross beyond all means. But yeah, wow butter is allowed to go because it has the peanut free symbol. And I think it's made of soy or something. I'm not sure. If you know what wow butter is made of, comment down below and let me know. Mm, now that we're done that order, no frills. All gone. All done. We're going to jump on over here to our Costco. And I'm going to start this way and we're going to work our way in. So, make sure I have enough sugar to do some Christmas baking. We got a 10 kg bag of Rogers granulated sugar. Best, it was like $15 for this bag. That bag, 15 bucks. And because, well, it is winter, it is soup season. Got our big box of Salted Top Premium Plus soda crackers. Topped with sea salt. Ooh. There is, look, it says that there's 12 packages in there, so hopefully this lasts us a little while. And the kids were out of their Mr. Noodles. I also use this for one of their meals, the ramen hamburger. Kids absolutely love it. So we got 30 packages of chicken, 18 packages of beef right there. Kids were running a little on their granola bars. So we got the soft and chewy Kirkland brand granola bars. And they were out of their fruits, fruit snacks. <coughs> so <coughs> got them the Mott's Fruit Sensation, naturally flavored, plus veggies, um, fruit snacks. And because we were out of our minute rice, I got us the big jumbo box of minute rice right there. And because, well, it is cold and flu season and everything else, we've got to make sure the kids are nice and loaded with their vitamins. So we got the Kirkland Signature Children's Multi Vitamin Gummies. This one's the best bang for our buck because, well, there's 250 in there and it'll go for five children for a little while. And this has grape, orange, cherry flavors. It contains 80% organic ingredients made with organic sweeteners. Not really, don't really care about that. And there are no gelatin, gl dairy, gluten, or nuts in it. Awesome possum. And because, well, I wanted to treat the doggo the wonderful little doggo downstairs. Oof, that's, that's not even that heavy. We got her. So we tried. What advent calendar was that last year? Dollar Tree or Dollar Emma? We tried a Dollar Emma dog advent calendar last year, and the doggo really didn't like the. All the rawhide, the same rawhide bones in it. It was like the exact same rawhide bones, just different colors. So this year, we are going to try this one. Dog Delights Advent Calendar. I think it's kind of cool. And it has 24 treats in six unique flavors. We've got some beef tender bites. Ooh, she's going to love those ones. Bacon flavored protein cookie. Ooh, a pot pie protein cookie, chewy beef mini trainers, chewy la lamb mini trainers, and beef liver bites. So that is everything in the grocery haul today. Holy fit these, there we go. I wanted to end up by my village today. But anyways, guys, that is everything for this gro this week's grocery hauls. Because there's two, not just one. So if you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button down down below. Give my give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of this stuff and you like it. 
and put a Christmas tree in the comments down below if you're excited for Christmas. As you can tell, I've already started decorating. This is my little tiny village with my wonderful tree. I will be doing a Christmas deck, not a decorate with me because the house is pretty much all decorated, but I will do a tour of all the decorations in the house. Mostly of them are on the main floor, but when the tree is all set up, I will do that. But until then, you guys have a fantastic day. Until next time, friends.